Thank you. That's my favorite flower. I got a surprise for you, but you'll have to turn around. Rebecca, that was great. Let's move on to the next one. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Bye, yo. Pie, man. Pie, man. Pie, man. Bye, lamb. Bye, lamb. Pie. What is this? What is she reading? Just a few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. The what? I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? We've only got a few more of these. No, I that. don't want to do that. Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. There's no man. She's upset. This is going too far. Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and go. Uh, Something bad happened. What kind of card should I send them? That's not the right card. I don't think we want this. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. Shh, here's a secret. It's my birthday. Maybe we can help her out. Are you sure that's right? I don't... It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. My friend is... My friend... My friend is having a birthday! I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Oh, I know! Let's get them some nice candy. Do you know where the candy store is? They don't have anything we need. Look at the stores. Which one sells candy? Uh, does this help? Great! What? Why did you do that? Now I can't find the candy store. I don't know where to go. Can you help me? Don't do that! I don't want to go there. I said I don't want to go in there! No! Why is this happening? No! Why can't I stop this? This isn't the candy store. There is nothing here that I want. 
maybe you can take us someplace else? I want to get my friend a special treat. That's not funny! Let me out of here! Oh, Amanda! That's... That's a nice birthday card! Do you want to give it to your friend now? Will you address the card? Who should I send this to? Oh, Wooly! It's your birthday! It's been three weeks since local television producer Sam Colton was reported missing, and authorities still have no leads. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, the public access children's educational program that became a huge hit among area children. But with Colton's disappearance, the future of the show remains unclear. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action program starring Colton's daughter, Rebecca. As budget and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, planning to syndicate the program nationally. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. My kids are still really into that show, but it has changed. I mean, I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. I mean, what is that? That's not something you tell impressionable kids. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, the talking gerbil. It's me, your friend, Skip, and with me as always is my trusty dog, Chip. Welcome to Coffee Break. Today I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventurer. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor yourself. Though, I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. <laughs> Sam, last year you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Honestly, Sadie, no. <laughs> it was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. And boy, does your show have a big heart. You know, I really have to thank our local librarian, Miss Kate, for being such a champion of the project. I think she's talked about it at every single story time. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? Mm. What inspired you to create 
Amanda. I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place, that there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imaginations. But really, it's all Rebecca. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. You know, she was so young when I adopted her. And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels like my little show could really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next coffee break, floral arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews of Rose's Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Are you going to And you have some music to Everything I'll do my first time is one of those cookies. I can't do it. I see a daddy chicken. Look at the chickens. Do you know what the daddy is called? Wait, what did you say? How do you... Where's the birthday girl? Usually my mom holds my treat money. <sighs> Come on, Lauren, we have a special surprise for you. Okay. Here's what I have. <laughs> Who's ready for ice cream and cake? She's busy with her best friend. Is that show on 24-7? It's like she didn't even hear me. Maybe we need to talk about some new TV rules. <laughs> you know what, hold on. Let me try. I, I want to I capture the big surprise on video. <laughs> Lauren, honey. We got cake and ice cream, we got your favorite, mint chocolate chip. Come on, baby, we can watch Amanda another time. It's so much fun Lauren? to buy your own Everything okay? Lauren? Mmm, I love mint chocolate chip. <laughs>